Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of God. You are the real Jews. You are the people of God, the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The bloodline descendants of God. The bloodline descendants of the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. We have a message for you today. There's a major problem here in Chicago. There's a major problem in Chicago, which is hatred. Which is hatred. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Park and, and park and deal with us. Park and deal with us. Let's build. Park your car, come deal with us. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You hear that, you so-called black men? You so-called black women that are full of hatred? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke means to correct your neighbor. When you see the old man out here selling dope, you're supposed to correct them. Hey, bro, why you selling dope to your people? Why you selling poison to your people? But do you brothers do that? Do you sisters do that? Do you sisters tell these young women, stop being thoughts. Stop having a whack. Stop being baby mamas. Stop going from rod to rod. Do you older women tell the younger women that? Read. And not suffer sin upon them. You're not supposed to suffer sin upon your people. That's Do you right. know what sin is? Hey, bro, right here on the corner, what is sin? Come and come closer, bro. Come closer. What's sin, sis? Sin. What is sin? sin? What is sin? Come over here, bro, in front of me so I can look you in your eyes. What is sin? Killing? Okay, that's good. What about you, brother? What is sin? Disobedience to God. Disobedience to God. What you say, sis? Being disobedient. Being disobedient. All of y'all hit it on the head. But I'm going to read it out the Bible and tell you what God says. Read, read that. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Read, read it out. again because I want this to soak in. Because we are here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Stop sinning. That's why our neighborhoods the way they are. That's why single family homes where the women raising the kids by themselves. Why the men are locked down in the jail cell? Why the men walking around aimlessly doing nothing? We see y'all out here on Roosevelt. You men need to wake up and be men. And you women, stop being bad examples to these daughters out here. Show them how to be hoes. No, that's not how we're supposed to be. Read it again. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. The word transgression means to break. So when you break God's laws, you're in transgression of that law. In layman's terms, if you break God's rules, you're in bad shape with him. There's punishment behind that. Give me Leviticus again. Go back to Leviticus. Read that, read that from the top. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother and thy heart. So there's many forms of hatred. There's many forms of hatred. If you don't correct your brother and sister, that's hatred. Bro, you said what? Killing? Is that what you said? Is that what you said? Killing, right? All right, read 18. Jump to 18. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. So when, when murder happens, don't that use these calls from revenge? Come here, bro. Come closer. I know you got the mask on for Corona, but I want to be able to hear the words clearly come out of your mouth. All right? So what happens on the streets of Chicago? Kill it. Kill it. 
Retaliation, right? These, this gang violence, right? You kill my homie, now I kill yours. You kill my mama, now I kill your mama. You kill my son, now I go kill your son. But what do the Bible say? Read. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You hear that, you so-called black man? You're supposed to love your neighbor. You're not supposed to have a grudge. Hey, forgive that brother. If he step on your shoes, if he walk on your line that you just got cut, hey, I forgive you, brother, but don't do it again, all right? You offended me. That's a simple solution. But the so-called black man is so far removed from his godship, he don't know how to do that. Right. Get up. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge, uh -huh. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You're not supposed to kill your brother in layman's terms. That's why the police is out here. That's why the police be locking you up. That's why the police be shooting you down. Because you don't know how to say, you know what, brother, I forgive you. You know what, sister, I forgive you. They don't know how. They don't know how. They don't want to. It's sin. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge, right. nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Give me uh, Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill. Give me that. You said, you said we shouldn't kill, right? All right? This is a simple law. Do you believe in the Bible? You do? Look at this side right here. Tell me where you see yourself at. Tell me where you see yourself at. Where you see yourself at, bro? Huh? Black American, right? Did you ever heard that you was a child of God, an Israelite? Did you ever heard that before? You heard that before. When did, when, how long have you been knowing that? Couple years, right? So what's taking you so long to repent? You got the beard. I see you out here with the righteous beard. But you're missing some steps, too. You don't have fringes on your clothing. What you doing out here on a Saturday? What you doing? Who? You got to speak up, bro. Chilling? You, have you went to the store and bought anything? No? Do you plan on buying anything today? Cooking anything? Because this, today, you know what today is? Today is the Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath of the Lord. We're not supposed to buy or sell. We're not supposed to cook. That is sin. And that's what we are here to tell our people. They got to repent from that. Because the ways of the world is, is unrighteous to, in God's eyesight. When you're a friend of the world, that's enmity towards God. That means you show hatred towards God. So here's another form of hatred. We're about to read it right here. Give me that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13. Right. Thou shalt not kill. How many of y'all know some hitters? How many of y'all know that y'all family, family members gonna kill somebody that's in the Cook County Jail right now? Did y'all tell on them? Did y'all turn them in? You know what? If you didn't, you share his burden of sin. Read it again. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Why is this place called Chirac? Why is this place called Chirac? Read it again. Thou shalt not kill. It's called shot rap because it's a high murder rate. You brothers out here killing each other. Y'all out here selling loose squares. Y'all out here selling uh, snowballs. You're not supposed to be buying and selling out here. Bring it up. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. And we out here to correct all sin. All matter of sin. Okay. You understand that? Read. Thou shalt not kill. Read it again. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Give me that in first John. Kill, uh, murder is killing. Bring it out. Or hatred is murder. What's your name, bro? Uh, Tommy. Tommy. What's your name right here? Tom. My name Jose. Nice to meet you, brother. What's your name, sis? Who? Lefter. Come here. Let me ask you a question. You got kids? You got two grown kids? How old are they? He's been 39, 32. What about you, bro? You ain't had no kids? What's the major problem going on here in Chicago? Whole lot of killing, right? We out here to show our people who they are according to the Bible. We the Israelites. When you look at this sign right here, it tell you who the Israelites are today, who the 12 tribes are. We've been scattered across the four corners of the globe. And we lost consciousness of who we are. And translated slave trade came. We lost who we are. What's your last name? Brown. Brown. That's a curse. That's the name of your slave master. Right. What's your last name? That's a curse. That's the name of your slave master. Right. What's your last name? Uh, who? Huggins. Huggins? That's a curse. That's the name of your slave master. To be walking around here not knowing who we are. That's why we're killing each other. That's why we hate each other. Because we don't know who we are. And that's our message out here today. Is to wake up out of that deep sleep. Stop being the kings that you are, black that's man. Right. Stop being the princesses that you are, black woman. Right. You understand that? You ain't a thought. Don't let Cardi B and them see you off. You are a princess of the most high 
of God. That's right. Read it. First John chapter 3 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hated his brother and is, is a murderer. Whoever hate his brother is a murderer. So, what else a form of hatred? Let me break it down to you. You got kids, right? Are you married? I'm a widow. You're a widow? So, I'm not going to use that example. I'm not going to use that example because your husband is dead. But what's going on in the black community right now? But between men and women in relationships and having kids, what's going on? Adultery, right? What else is going on? Are they married? It's not a lot of marriage going on either. Let me tell you what the Bible says about that. Read that now. Stay right there. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Don't you know when it's baby mama, baby daddy thing, when it's not marriage, that is what? Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. That's hatred. That's also murder. You ain't think of it like that, have you? You know why? Because it's sin. That's Give me Hebrews real quick. Give me Hebrews real quick. Because look, sis, when you don't commit, when you commit sin, that's a form of hatred because you're not correcting your brother and sister. Right. You're supposed to marry that, that, that woman when you have sex with her. You understand that? Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Right. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable for all Israel. You understand that? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Marriage is honorable in all. Read on. In the bed, undefiled. The bed is undefiled, meaning when you have sex with your, with your spouse, Whatever you do that's according to the law, it is undefiled. You understand that? It's all good. You could do that. Read on. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. There's a lot of whoremonging going on in the city of Chicago. There's a, and you know what? That's tied directly to murder. That's tied directly to hatred. Because some of you women, some of y'all women, got two or three men you dealing with in one week. That's hatred. That's murder. Tito. That's adultery. That's fornication. Bring it out. All wrapped up in one. That's why we out here killing each other. That's why the other nations look at us like dogs. Y'all are the kings of the earth. That's right. Used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.